In this video, I'll be taking care of these two. Yeah. So basically, as for catching up on previous projects, I'm not going to go crazy into detail. I am running low on car um, not carpentry sand. Uh, craft sand. I'm running low on craft sand. So, I'm going to basically put the crafts on the front of these buildings. And then I'm going to um, scar a bit of pattern into these uh, pieces here below. Now, something to keep in mind is this is that's a real hard board. This one, on the other hand, is that compressed cardboard sheet stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how much it works when I glue to it. So without further ado, I'm going to glue these up and make the magic happen. And I need a scrap piece of paper. Actually, you know what? Let's just avoid the car. Uh, Let's just avoid the craft sand on this altogether for the time being. I can always paint some on later, like literally paint some on. But I do want to make like some floor tiles, and I don't know why I didn't do this when I incorporate this down just in the bottom now. So for now, I'm, I got the tile etched in this one here. This one, on the other hand, I'm going to leave it be, and I'm going to do something different with the base. So without further ado, it's time to bust out the paints and do what I did before, and uh, do a nice black wash. So the paint work is dried, and I'm going to paint the inside of this next. I'm just going to use that same cinnamon brown as before, just to show like rusty rebar or something. As for this guy, this didn't go according to plan. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I may just peel this off, paint it, and then glue it back on again. But as for the floor though, I don't want to go with like the same gray. Maybe it'll do like a green. Because I did blue pillars. Let's do like a green floor, maybe. Or a red floor. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, green. Definitely go with green. So yeah, I'll get this corrected. Do the floor in this one. And I'm still debating what to do with this one. Because it's, it's already slightly warped already from the, uh, the glue job and whatever else. Uh, I'll figure something out. Alrighty, the floor is all painted in. I do admit it does lack detail, but this is just quick and simple terrain to get on the tabletop, right? I also uh, pulled this off, painted underneath, and then painted this up to look like some kind of rusted piece of corrugated from the roof or something. But, you know, it, it helps pull away from all the gray. That's what I was going at. And as for this one over here, I don't know what to do with this. I might fill in with sand later, I'm not sure. I might just paint a solid color. Um, but right now I'm not worried about that. For now I'm just gonna call these complete. At some point in the future I will go back in my own time and add a little extra details, but for now they're ready for the board. So thanks for watching folks, and keep safe out there and stay tuned for part three because that one's gonna be a little more interesting.